Let's add a camera, layer, new camera. Let's go with 35 this time. OK, there's our camera. Now we see that this really is now the look of a custom view. We can't see the word camera anymore. So there you go. Next we'll add a solid, layer, new, solid. Let's make it yellow, let's make it the comp size. And hit OK. Now it's still a 2D layer, so it fills the frame. Let's make it a 3D layer. It still fill, fills the frame from the camera's point of view. So let's move it back. No, let's leave it alone right now. Let's shrink it down because what we want to do is make this travel along a path. Now, I would like this layer to orient itself along the path and we could animate a null object along a path and then have this layer be the child of that null object. Uh, but, well, I'll show you what happens. Let's make a null. Layer new null object. There it is. Let's make it a 3D object. Let's go to the top view. Let's lock the yellow layer so we don't mess with it. Let's hide it. And our null, let's hit P. Let's move it over here. Let's pull it over here. Set a keyframe. Move it over up and over. And now just grab the null. You don't have to grab an axis if you just want to move it around. So you just grab it there. Let's grab it here. And that's our path for the null. It now moves along this path. If we look at it in the custom view, there's the null, and there is its path winding about. Okay, let's make our yellow solid visible, unlock it, and let's make it the child of the null. It is now the child, null is the parent. Let's see what happens. There we go, they move together. Isn't that splendid? Okay, now let us just set the orientation of the yellow layer, the yellow solid. Layer transform auto orient. Set it to orient along the path. See what happens. It's not doing it. The reason why it's not doing it is because no position keyframes, no path keyframes have been set for the yellow layer. So it doesn't really think that it's moving along a path. So in order to rectify that, well, let's try one thing. Let's set the null layer to orient along its path. See what happens there. Transform, auto-orient, orient along path. Aha, that's interesting. So it looks like the yellow layer inherits the orientation of the null. And that's absolutely wonderful. Okay. Now from the top view, just to avoid that little flip we get there, let's go to the top view. Top view here. And the reason why we get that flip at both ends is because of this. This keyframe is oriented, sorry, the Bezier handle is oriented in this direction. So it makes the layer go in that direction. So to avoid that little flip at the end,
grab the bezier handle and make it line up with the path. There we go. Now we have one more at the end. Let's do the same thing. Make it line up. Now at the end, that's good. Now if we wanted the uh, yellow layer to be centered on the path, we just need to move it. Hit P for position and let's just slide it along. Now if I recall, the center of the null is there. It's right about there. So let's move that that way. Now take note of the axes of the yellow layer. I'm dragging the X position value of the layer and it's sliding along its own X mm, axis. Now, the but you'll note that the axes are set to the world axes. That's if I wanted to drag the axes this way by dragging the arrows. This is the way they would go because they are set to the world. Let's undo that. If I had set this to local axis, dragging would be along the x-axis of the object itself, not the world. So this is the local axis. This is the world axis. Okay, But that's only relevant if you want to drag the arrows. If you use the position values in the timeline, these arrows, or that's whatever you set here, does not matter. It will go along the axis of the layer if you drag in the timeline. So let's move that a little bit there. And look, well, considering that the null is, uh, if you want to follow the null, and it's, the null started at 0, 0, 0, why don't you put this to 0, 0, 0, and then that should exactly match. Because the null started at 0, 0, 0, you make this to 0, 0, 0, it will follow the null without any offset. Let's just highlight the null, look at the path. Okay, that's what we want. That's what we get. If we move the keyframes for the null's path, the layer continues to follow. There's a bit of a flip because <laughs> those two seem to be fine, actually. Aha, there's the flip. There's the flip. Drag that over. That looks fine. There we go. Drag that down. How does this one look? There we go. That. Sometimes you need to drag these around in order to see them in another view. See, when this one's here, you couldn't see it because of the angle where we were. The angle that the camera's looking at is pointing right at the camera, or it looks like it's pointing right at the camera. So you have to move it around to see it, and there it is. So we need to drag that up, and then it looks like it lines up automatically. 